Hello! Good morning team. What's up? It's Julia. Welcome to a new video. So today is Saturday and it's like 8.30 in the morning and we're still having training camp at the office and Hope is speaking today so we're gonna get up and Hope's love language is Starbucks so she's requested that we go to Starbucks and then we're gonna go to worship then she's gonna speak then we have some other plans for the day but I'm really excited she spoke yesterday and absolutely killed it and today she's gonna speak on a more serious topic and she's gonna absolutely kill it it's been a really cool couple of days I mean Hope like Hope hears from the Lord in amazing ways but like We've all just been like really, really feeling the joy of the Lord these past couple days. Everyone I've been talking to was just like, oh, and the Lord's been doing some like really tangible, cool things to pursue everyone. So it's just been really cool to like have so much and then have, have so much to give away. And Hope has so much to give away right now. And she's so excited. And I'm so excited. Hope, you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Hope this morning was like, I love God. I just want to shake people so they understand. Okay, I got you a water. I can't open the door. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thanks. Oh. So many, I'll put one here. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Let's go, Hopi! You wanna film mine? Yes. I'm all locked out! Oh, my seatbelt's not on, it's freaking out. Oh no! Oh no, it's like a bomb's gonna go off! I do feel emotionally prepared. I feel like I've had a year of training for this talk. What to talk about? Build up. It's about grieving, pain, and emotions and the things that you've been through and how to let go of sadness so that you can receive joy instead. But if you don't let go of the sadness- I thought it was about feeling sadness. Well, yeah, you have to feel it and that's how you let it go. You have to go through it, feel through it. Cool. Yeah. Have you done that in your life? Lots of times. Good, you're a healthy person then. It's your breath, it's your breath in my life. So we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath in our love. So we pour out our praise, keep it, we pour out our Realizing, because the Lord told me that I was in stage four of grief, I was able to move on to stage five within a week. One week. And what helped me with acceptance was forgiveness, which I know you heard about last night. And I mean, who hasn't heard a forgiveness talk? You know, we all have. And I was at this conference at the beginning of September and I had a forgiveness talk. And I was like, here we go again. I mean, like, let's go. Whenever I hear one, the Lord shows me who I need to forgive. And I was like, so I wonder who the Lord is going to show me that I need to forgive. And he showed me some people and I was surprised because I didn't know that I needed to forgive them. And so I forgave them. And boom. I'm in acceptance. Because what the couple said that was teaching on forgiveness was something I'd never heard in my entire life before. And they said a sign of unforgiveness is deep sadness. I thought unforgiveness was anger, or bitterness, you're uptight, you're just so, you know, angry. But they said deep sadness, and I was like, that's me. I'm deeply sad, and it's because I need to forgive people, and I had no idea, and I'm stuck in depression, all these things that the Lord was revealing to me because he wanted me to get to acceptance because he wanted me to have his peace. Hello, we are back at our house now and Betty and Hope and I and a bunch of other people are going to a pumpkin patch. Lizzie's not here because she's on a training team. So she's training people for training camp. I just said training like 16 times. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Where's we're Betty? Betty, Betty, Betty. All right. Let's go. We got friends Love over people, here. Right? We got friends over Washington. there. Megan! She's busy. We got, we got Betty. Right here. We got friends. Betty. Justin I like here. I cut in my face. Yeah. <laughs> Going to 
attempt to get on this cow train. I don't think I'm gonna move. fit. As suspected, my hips do not fit. Steps do. <laughs> I had to wiggle a little. No, uh, no, no. I let it Oh, oh, I'm gonna get oh, no. stuck. <laughs> We're doing well. I'm like a whole foot. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. So now apparently there's gonna be a pig race. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna go see it. Look at this one. Three. Oh, he's a loser. Is that it? We're doing so this is the vortex tunnel. It's crazy. Basically, you walk across this bridge and things spin around you and it makes you feel like you're spinning. Let's do it. <laughs> it's really crazy. Oh, I didn't introduce you. This is Megan and this is Dustin. <laughs> oh my god. Are we, wait, are we moving or not? We're actually, oh my god. I, <laughs> wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> that was <a> crazy. <laughs> I'm like, we're going down! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get it! <laughs> we're gonna break up into teams All right, and come out. Say, uh, figure ready? out which team figures out the coordinates. High fives! Team, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, this is so intense. It's like the Maze Runner. It's like uh, Hunger Games. It's like, it's like, um, something intense, Hope. <laughs> Hope, are you competitive? Uh, it depends. I'm selectively competitive. I'm almost exclusively never competitive unless it's trivia, especially if it's about flags for geography. Well, this is kind of trivia because. Is it? We just went in a circle. Wrong way, Dustin. Way to count. <laughs> I pointed the wrong way first. <laughs> Dustin's an engineer. Everyone Not a good one. What was it? 20 minutes and 20 seconds. Woo! We win! Go team amazing! How do we know we won? Because right, they're not out yet. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Betty has asked for a special jump on the jumping thing. Just for adults. She's literally making all the kids get off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get hyped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I just was editing this vlog and I kind of thought it was a funny vlog because in the beginning we're talking about deep sadness and hopes to talk about grieving and feeling your pain and then we go off and have all this fun at the farm and I thought I didn't want to really just end it like that because I think that we just scratched the surface scratched the surface of a very very important topic and so I just wanted to talk more about it and say that that's what life is like. Hope said in her talk, life is incredibly sad. Life is incredibly sad. Horrible things happen and we all feel, I don't, it doesn't matter who you are, we all feel sadness. And the thing is, we get opportunities when we feel sadness to, to deal with it and, and we can move on and we can feel real joy or we cannot deal with it and we can feel this fake joy because we wanna cover it up. We don't wanna feel, everyone hates pain. No one wants to feel pain. So we can try and cover it up with our phones or relationships or YouTube videos or anything that will help us avoid actually feeling pain, which is seems to be our life goal is to avoid that. And, but then we don't actually feel real joy. So when you try and cover it up, you feel this like fake middle joy and it doesn't actually feel good. But it's this wild concept if you look at it backwards and if you allow yourself to actually feel the pain, actually sit in it, take it to the Lord, figure out why it's there, deal with it, process it, assess it, process it, grieve it, it will actually go away and you will actually feel real happiness, not fake, like weightless happiness. You will feel like an actual joy if you allow yourself to feel actual pain. Seems backwards, but 
I think that is literally the only way to feel actual joy is to allow yourself to feel actual pain. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. I didn't want to just leave it as like an ambiguous thing in the beginning of the vlog. I wanted to let you guys know we all feel pain. I feel pain all the time. You're not alone. And I want to encourage you to just allow yourself to feel the pain and take it to the Lord and like deal with it. And it will go away. It's going to be okay. There is hope. And you will have real joy in your life again. You will. Okay? So thanks for watching this video, guys. And just know that if, you're, if you watch these videos, I do care about you. And I, I do want you to feel real joy. Okay? So thank you for being a part of my life today. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. And we are gonna do lots of Atlanta things. My dad has been on this kick lately that he wants to just experience more Atlanta since we yep. live like less than an hour. And so the Atlanta Tourism Bureau gave me an Atlanta city pass. And we get to do all these cool things for one cool pass. Very nice. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> we're gonna Woo. start with <laughs> We're gonna start with the World of Coke. It's right behind us. Let's go.